Hello and welcome. I'm Tiff Durr and I am so grateful that you are here for this mini course on understanding narcissistic abuse. So if you're here, it's likely, unfortunately, that you are seeking clarity, validation, or maybe just a starting point to make sense of what you've been through. I know the feeling, trust me, I've been there, but you're probably coming out of a narcissistic abusive relationship or you've been out of one for a while and you've just been wondering what, how does this relationship still have such an impact on you from how you think, how you feel, um, how you lead your life, how it affects other relationships, the relationship with yourself. And there's so many questions and you're trying to wrap your mind around it and your body and your mind are disassociated from each other. And you just want to feel lighter and you want to feel better and not have something from your past that is constantly being brought up and brought up into your present moment. And that is what trauma is. So if you are going through that. I'm telling you this course is for you. And so my goal with this course is to give you that foundation, right? To provide the knowledge and first steps needed to start your journey towards actual deep healing, not just talking about it, right? Actual deep healing. And as a self-worth coach, it is my honor to give back and truly relate to y'all's story. And it has given me so much purpose in what I do and with what I do now and with the platform that I have um, and what I've cultivated as a result of it. You know, I didn't ask for this. I didn't see this coming. Um, many of you all know me from the Netflix TV series, um, Ultimatum Queer Love, and I, I never saw this coming. So it's so much deeper than that. Um, the platform that I've had, ha I've had thousands of survivors come to me. Um, and just give me their insight. And there's this deep sense of purpose and responsibility. And it's an honor to be able to share with you my story of how I, it all started and how I got educated and, and just giving back to now where I'm helping others. And I'm so passionate about what I do with helping others. And I deeply hope that this course gives you an amazing starting point and helps you too, to also give you hope. So here's what we'll be covering in my mini course of understanding narcissistic abuse. So let's walk through the layout of this mini course so you know what to expect. Um, first, a bit about my story. Um, I will be talking about my personal experience with narcissistic abuse. Um, not just what y'all saw on Netflix, but also including the dynamics within my own family that, as you'll see, played a huge role in why... I used to be drawn to these kind of relationships and like you'll find too, you'll probably discover some backstories, right? Of your past childhood dynamics or even teenager dynamics that you had with your family. And we'll start to show the connections um, in this course where you can relate that back to the starting point, because at the end of the day, right, we're all healing complex trauma, which I'll go more into detail about and healing that inner child. And so this plays a huge role. Right. So I went through a lot, like physically, emotionally and mentally and so deeply that I understand the impacts that this has on your life. Trust me, I do. Right. And so I'll share how I started the healing process, the steps I took to rebuild my self-worth, um, the steps I took to be a self-worth coach now. Right. And an EFT practitioner, which I'll describe what EFT is later and a certified trauma informed specialist. Um, so understanding complex trauma has been central to literally all the work I do. Um, when I teach my clients stuff, when I, when I coach, when I, when I do my TikTok lives, um, when I do my podcast, uh, understanding complex trauma under the hood is like the key factor into understanding what is going on under the hood with us being attracted to narcissistic relationships and, and how to heal from narcissistic relationships and where it all started. It's the core center between all of it. So understanding complex trauma has been essential to all the work I do. And it's the foundation of what it is aiming to address in this course. When we understand the roots of complex trauma, we're better able to understand ourselves better, which makes healing and real change possible.
So then understanding the basics. Um, second, we'll be defining some key concepts, um, which is crucial to understand, right? So I'll go over what abuse is in general and what emotional abuse looks like. And then we'll like start talking about narcissism, exploring the traits and behaviors that define it. And there's a lot to narcissism, right? There's textbooks and textbooks about it. I'm just going to give you the overall view of it. There's many types of narcissism. We're just going to go over the, the, the basics, right? And then, so we'll look at the difference between narcissistic traits and narcissistic personality disorder, which is two completely different things. And so it's important that you can recognize um, what you've been through to validate your own experience. And then we'll define narcissistic abuse specifically, um, how it's a pattern of manipulation and control that deeply impacts the partner's self-worth autonomy and well-being, which is crucial. Self-worth. A lot of it comes down to self-worth, shame, not feeling enough, people pleasing, or believing that performance equals love, which all brings us back to our inner child, right? And so healing the inner child is imperative to healing the effects of narcissistic abuse as a result. So third, um, recognizing narcissistic abuse. So in the third part, we'll dive deeper into examples of what narcissistic abuse can look like in real life situations. Um, we'll explore how narcissistic develop, narcissists develop, how childhood dynamics and trauma shape their behaviors. Um, understanding this can be really eye-opening because it actually helps us recognize that these behaviors are not random. They're just not a roll of the dice and they aren't a reflection of our self-worth. And lastly, we'll be covering the basics. Um, we'll go over what complex trauma is or CPTSD and how it literally, as I said, affects everything in the way we suffer and heal from narcissistic abusive relationships. Um, four, why we're drawn to narcissistic relationships. So in this section, we'll take a closer look at why certain people are more likely to experience narcissistic relationships. Um, we'll talk about complex trauma, go a little bit more in depth feelings of low self-worth, the need to people please, and how patterns from our past can make us vulnerable to toxic relationships. And we'll discuss what complex trauma is and how it affects us on a deeper level. Then we'll go into the effects of narcissistic abuse on the brain, body, and spirit, which I, this, this is my, my, my bread and butter, my jam and whatever, right? So after understanding the dynamics, we'll explore how narcissistic abuse impacts the brain, the body, and the spirit. This abuse just affects not how we feel emotionally, but also physically, mentally, and spiritually. So you're going to learn like just from being in a toxic relationship and more specifically a narcissistic abusive relationship for an extended period of time impacting the nervous system and often leaving people feeling disconnected from themselves, which is itself disassociation is a trauma response. Y'all. So we're going to learn a little bit more about that. And then we're going to look first into this first steps of healing. So we're going to go over the beginning stages of healing. Um, I'll give you an overview of what healing the inner child looks like and what that is all about, which is my own experience. And from what I coach my clients on is absolutely imperative to doing the inner work and healing. Um, I'll introduce some powerful techniques in starting to heal. And in particular, one powerful technique on what I use on myself and my clients to heal trauma and memories associated with specifically narc abuse. Um, which is emotional freedom technique. So I'll be talking a little bit more about EFT tapping. Um, I'm an EFT practitioner and it's a tool that can bring calm to emotional overwhelm and help release trauma that's been stored up because it's all about processing it and releasing it. Um, we'll start uh, reconnecting to the inner child, a powerful way to build self-compassion and a strong foundation for healing. And then lastly, I'll give you some resources and next steps. Um, so before we wrap up, I'll also share the resources that might support you on your journey. Um, some books, leaders, leaders in which I took to when I was going through my healing journey, trying to discover, trying to learn more. Um, and this will help you get you going. And if you're interested in going deeper, I'll invite you to a free discovery call with me. So um, we can explore working together on a more personalized level that tailors to you. So thank you again for being here. Um, by the end of this mini course, my hope is that you'll leave with a clear understanding of what narcissistic abuse is, a sense of validation for what you have been through. You are not crazy. Trust me, I thought I was going crazy for three years. And the first steps on your path to healing. So let's get started.